in the Old Testament and even in the Gospel of uh, Matthew fasting is related to mourning pagluluksa pagdadalamhati and the disciples of John were courteous respectful of Jesus when they did not directly ask him what was his opinion on fasting but they simply said why do we and the Pharisees fast much but your disciples do not fast in the Old Testament and in the scriptures God is compared to a bridegroom and so in the gospel today Jesus used the image of a wedding feast as long as the bridegroom is with them and the disciples were compared to those who were attending the wedding they would not fast because Jesus is God the Son of God but there will be a time when Jesus is taken away and there is an interregnum an in-between with the presence of Jesus with his disciples and then he would leave them and so they would wait for his second coming and that's the time Jesus pointed out in the gospel today that they will fast fasting is always related to being sorry for our sins humbling oneself before God and uh, fasting is also an expression of our faith in God strengthening prayer and it is always related to alms giving that's why the merit of a fast is in the proportion to the charity dispense malala ko pa nung kami mga seminarista kung meron mga nasalanta ng bagyo na malapit sa Divine Word Mission Seminary sa Tagaytay ang ginagawa namin ay we forgo our soft drinks we do not drink uh, Coke or Sprite or orange for a month at kung anuman ang uh, nalilikom whatever we have saved from uh, not drinking Coke or soft drinks we give them to those who have been uh, devastated by the typhoon yung mga nasalanta ng bagyo so that's the meaning of uh, fasting pagayono pagabstinensya it is always related to doing something good towards your neighbor that's why in the first reading today the Lord through the prophet Isaiah was asking what kind of fasting do you have then this is the kind of fasting that is acceptable to me and I will answer your prayers and I will be your guide and your protector if you follow this kind of fasting and so, and so the Lord said releasing those bound unjustly untying the thongs of the yoke setting free the oppressed breaking every yoke sharing your bread with the hungry sheltering the oppressed and the homeless clothing the naked when you see them and not turning your back on your own that's the kind of fasting that the lord wants from each and every one of us and what is the consequence of this or what is the effect of this then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your wounds shall quickly be healed your vindication shall go before you and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard and so today and in this Lenten season let us not forget that fasting abstinence are always related to prayer almsgiving and much more it is an expression of our faith in God.